welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the nursery and welcome if you are new here. Today, I have a little toy for the babies that I'm about to put together. This is gonna be for a special secret baby that I have on my table that you guys will be seeing in the very near future, but I can't wait to use this for photos and use that on that baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and I'll show you. Little Miss Sassy can ride on it as well, and I will probably put her on it when it's complete and take some photos. Super cute, can't wait to see what it looks like. Okay, so there it is. Super cute little rocking horse. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't the easiest thing to put together. Uh, if you're used to putting baby furniture together like I am, it took me maybe 30 minutes. I would say it's intermediate level. It's definitely not hard, like super hard, but it wasn't easy. <laughs> so um, this is the company. I got it on Amazon and I will leave the link in the description below if you are interested in this little rocking horse for your babies or reborns. Uh, for real children, it's ages 12 to 36 months and it's definitely 12 month size and over for sure. Uh, I love the size of it. It's not too big, not too small. I'm going to put Saskia in it just so you can see it for reference. She is like three to six months size, uh, but I do have a bigger baby coming to my collection that will be using this, and I thought I would use this for my toddlers. I've been doing a lot of toddlers, as you all know, and so I need something to prop them up in for photos and things like that. So, this will be super cute for the bigger babies. I absolutely love the colors. And my favorite part is this little bar. Uh, it's not cheap. It's a little on the pricier side. I was holding my breath with the price. It wasn't horrible, but uh, definitely worth every penny though um, with the quality. And the instructions were really good and easy to put it together. The instructions were fine. It was just a lot of different parts and pieces. So I absolutely love that they threw in an extra piece of hardware for every single screw bolt, even for like the little wrench, they gave you an extra of everything just in case. And I love that. So that just tells you the quality, beautiful. I was gonna have my husband build me one of these, but we're gonna save that for our future grandchildren. Um, he can do that for babies in our family. I just needed something that kind of matched um, my cradles, Sassy's rocking chair, the crib, it all matches. So I'm really in love with that. So cute little Saskia here is modeling for us again today. And as you can see, she's a little bit on the smaller side for this little rocking horse. Like I said, she's more of a three to six month size baby. So you definitely need a 12 month size baby that can sit up really well in this, but I love the guard bar. I love that for safety. And I definitely will be using this for a 12 month size baby that's coming to my collection. I cannot wait to use it for that baby and other babies that I will be photographing in the future. This is a super cute buy. It matches the nursery and I love it. And it is sassy approved, so there you go. So I have a little bit of Mary mail here. I knew this box was coming and I went to go check my PO box and I also found this little piece of Mary mail in there. And this is from Auntie Charlene and she is from Mount Sterling, Kentucky. So I'm gonna open this first. This came from Auntie Sandra and she is Baby Dreama's mama. And when I sent Baby Dreama off to her, she told me to be expecting a package today from her. So let me dive into this real quick. Oh, it's an Easter card. How cute is that? I love the little bow. Look at those little bunnies. That is so cute. Please enjoy this bouquet of bunnies. I wish I would love all those little bunnies. Could you imagine? How cute. <clears throat> 
Misty, hello. I'm so excited to send you Mary Mail. I am so grateful for Mary Mail. I love it when you guys reach out to me. She says, I love your channel. I find myself binge watching all the time. Included are pics of my sweet reborn babies, Noella, Emma. Oh, she has the leaf kit and the August kit. Could you please do more videos with your autumn? I sure can. I don't do enough with her. That is why I have a smaller collection. A lot of people get kind of in the reborn community, they can get kind of snobby and they're like, why is your collection so small if you're an artist? And it's really because I feel like I can't give them all attention. I'm so busy painting babies, beautiful babies for other people that I don't always give all my babies attention. So I like to keep my collection under 10 because I just really feel like I don't have enough time for all of them. So this is baby Noella. Oh my goodness, I love the leaf kit. Leaf is so teeny, but I absolutely love this baby. I've done this baby a few times. And this is baby August. How cute. I love the brows on your baby. My baby hardly has any eyebrows, but um, <clears throat> I love how the artist did the eyebrows on this baby. So beautiful. So this is baby Emma. I love that name. I love Noella. I've never thought of Noella. I've heard of Noelle, and I've never thought of Noella, and I really like that. Super beautiful. Sent with lots of love. Oh, it says, because someone like you deserves an adorable and really happy Easter. Sent with lots of love from Charlene, Emma, and Noella. Thank you guys so much. The babies have a new auntie and some cousins, and I love that. Um, I love hearing from you guys. I get tons of messages every day from you guys and comments on my videos. And just know, I look at every comment. I see every message. If for some reason yours gets missed, please don't get upset. I try to put a little heart next to every single message that I read. And I do try to comment on as many as I have time to comment on. Um, I check my messages in the mornings when I'm having coffee on the porch with my squirrels and with little Jake. So I have a certain amount of time in the morning that I can sit with my coffee and answer your guys' messages. So I try to answer back to as many as possible, especially if you guys have a pretty important question. Um, I always try to get back with you, but I always put a little heart next to every message. Now, some messages don't get through on YouTube because it's censored. So depending on certain words, like sometimes YouTube, if they think that it's like a harassing message, but it can be a totally innocent message. But if it has certain wording or things that kind of trigger um, YouTube, they will hold it. They will hold it for review. So I don't always get all those. And I have to go into a special area to check those. And I forget sometimes. So to review them and just make sure that they're okay and, and um, I can okay them. So bear with me. I try to get every message and I try to read everyone's messages and I do try to answer everyone back as much as possible. Oh, there are so many little packages in here. Oh my goodness. Wow. I feel like it's like a little baby box opening. I'm going to have to put this more in the picture. Oh my gosh, thank you so much already. Wow, holy cow. Okay, we're gonna start with this one. <laughs> Look at this little bottle. I am totally keeping this little bottle. This is adorable. This has little candies in it and this will look so cute with my Behringer babies on the shelf. Thank you so much. I see a sweet little mom item. You know, this is crazy because April is my birthday and this says April on it. And this little card, this Mary Mel card was so sweet for Easter. I love Easter because it's the holiday that's in my birthday month. So I tend to favor that. But some mom hand cream, which I always need because I'm constantly washing my hands from painting thank you so much 
Oh, I love this little rainbow wrapping paper. It's so cute. It's so sassy. <laughs> right, baby girl? That is totally like sassy. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh, you crochet so beautiful. Look at that pattern. This is the same as one of the little blankets I was sent from another auntie. This will match so pretty with the pearl. I love this. Look at this little bonnet. This one looks so cute on this sweet little baby. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to put her in that little bonnet. It's gonna look so cute. <gasps> I see more crocheted items. She did tell me a couple of things that were in this box. She told me there were some crocheted items because she has been nesting while she was waiting for her baby and she was crocheting a lot of stuff, she said. But I didn't know any of that stuff was coming my way until I mailed off her baby. <gasps> wow, Playtex baby bottle. Look at that. I love these. That is awesome. And it has the little bags in it. So I'm going to have to look up how to make another disappearing milk bottle with this because another auntie sent me one of these Playtex baby bottles and it makes the best disappearing milk bottle. And I think that would be so cool for my silicone baby. Thank you so much. That is so cool. I'm so 80s. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm showing my age by saying like awesome and cool and radical. That's totally our generation. <laughs> oh, look at this little hat. Oh my gosh. I think this might even fit. It's adjustable. Wow. This would even fit sassy with that cute little blue dress she has. That is beautiful. I'm gonna put this with Little Miss Sassy Pants. Olivia, hold that, baby girl. That is gonna be so pretty with that little dress that she has. Oh, I can't wait to put her back in the blue dress for summer now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to dress her up in it again. Okay, I'm saving this one because this one has my name on it. So I'm gonna put that one aside and save it. So cute. <gasps> Another Playtex bottle. So this one's a little bit smaller and it has the little bags in it. That is awesome. I think these little nipples are gonna completely fit my silicone baby. I am so excited you guys for her. Time is counting down. I just talked to her artist and she's gonna have me send her kit. I was actually gonna mail it off today, but I might wait a couple of days because my date has been moved up just a tiny, tiny smidge. Oh, look at this little blanket. This is so soft. Wow. I love that you did the edging in that really soft yarn. That is so soft. Oh, how beautiful. Can I put this in the crib right now? This is so pretty. Wow. That is, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to cover you. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. I cannot wait to put this in the crib. This is gonna be so pretty. I can even use this on the changing table. Oh my gosh, your work. You guys impress me so much with your abilities to do this. Wow, so pretty. I am gonna love having this. This is gonna be so cute for all the babies with their Easter clothes, don't you think? So sweet. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. Oh, Auntie Sandra did so pretty for you guys. The babies are going to look so beautiful in all their Easter clothes with this little blanket. And then she said there was a little special something for me. And since this has my name on it. <laughs> so it's this cute little box.
You guys ready? <laughs> I'm holding my breath. Oh, that is beautiful. Whoa, how pretty is that? Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I actually have a dress that will go so good with this. And look at those earrings. Oh, this would be so fun for a date night with my honey. Wow, that is beautiful. Sandra, you are so sweet. Oh my gosh, what is in here? Oh, these are so pretty. Oh my goodness. These would go so good with a purse and heels that I have. Oh my, those are gorgeous. I love white gold and silver. I don't know what it is about white gold and silver. Just looks good on my skin tone, I guess. Oh, that's so pretty. Thank you so much. That's my birthstone, by the way. <laughs> Cubic zirconia or diamond. I always tell my husband, don't buy the diamonds. They're expensive. <laughs> I'm not a diamond girl, even though I was born in the month of April. I'm like, go with the, the sterling silver and the cubic zirconia, and I'm so happy. <laughs> these are so pretty. I am totally wearing these on my birthday. I need to find a cute outfit for those. I do have some really dressy clothes that will go with this stuff. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Thank you so much. I think I'm gonna have to have my hubby take me out a couple times for my birthday so I can wear this stuff. Ooh, I might use this as an excuse to go shopping for new outfits. Birthday outfits. Thank you so much, Auntie Sandra. You do not have to do that. It was so nice of you. You guys are so sweet. You guys are just the sweetest people ever. Thank you so much for thinking of me and thinking of my beautiful babies. And I cannot wait to get these babies dressed up. I have changings from other aunties that I need to do this week, but then we'll break out the Easter clothes, you guys, and we'll do some really cute um, clothes for Easter and put these little girls in their little bonnets how sweet are those i'm so excited look it even almost matches this other little blanket that she has that was so perfect for saint patty's day so i just did the cutest little photo shoot with this little baby and she is not up for adoption. This little one is a custom for Auntie Cheryl and she is going home to her new mommy. I did a Huxley kit, but that baby ended up going home to Uncle Logan as a boy. And this sweet mama wanted her baby to have blue eyes. So this little one got the brown hair and the blue eyes and is a little girl. So this sweet baby girl's name is Summer Sunshine and I think that that fits her beautiful sunny blue eyes so perfectly and it is summertime here in Florida so she has this cute little outfit she's going home in but I am going to be sending her home with some cute little summer sunshine outfits that are going to match her little personality and her name so perfectly but she is just so adorable. I'm going to get her all packed up and we're going to go mail you off to your mama.